right guys, today we're gonna go over what you need to pull out of a Mark IV if you're sending it to me for a harness install or for any kind of a retrofit. But um, I've already pulled the uh, rain tray cover off of this Mark IV. Um, here's your ECU. There are two connectors here. This one right here is gonna go directly to the motor. This goes um, to the body. This is gonna, If it's a gas car, it's gonna have your MAF sensor on it, your O2 sensors on it. It goes inside the car, inside this little box. And there are five colored plugs inside there that we are going to un unplug and pull out. Um, there is also, off of that engine connector, a 10 pin, um, 10 pin connector sometimes called a t14 or depending on the year it's a t10 um, we'll get a photo of that here shortly and where that disconnects um, it is right back here behind this circle but right there this connector goes to, to the engine side and then to the body and when you get done and are ready to send it to me this thing should be intact and you're going to cut the body side of it and i'll show you where here in just a minute okay so here we are engine harness small side of our ecu this is the same on every mark IV. it doesn't matter if it's gas diesel vr doesn't matter so this small side comes down here on a TDI. You're gonna have a little glow plug break off. This is an early TDI. Late TDIs will have a glow plug relay and everything sitting right about here in this rain tray. Um, so on the 180s and anything with a coil pack, this is just gonna be a single big wire uh, plug. Um, and it's gonna go inside basically to your 428 relay. Uh, you will unplug it no matter what right there gas or diesel. So now we come down here and here is that 14 pin plug I was telling you about. This is only going to be present in this location on Golfs and Jettas. Beetles, it's going to be way up in the ECU, underneath the dash, way underneath there. Either way, I want both halves of this harness right here. Um, here is our engine section coming from the ECU to this plug. And down here, it goes into the body um, section with the headlights and everything else. Cut this right here. Now I have both halves of the plug. I can make you a nice, neat uh, transition um, without having a bunch of flying leads that you got to tie in and wonder where the plugs go and all that kind of mess. Okay, now we got the wiper motor out of the way. And here is what was underneath that little black cover. Some of these are bolted down. Some of them are just snapped in place as far as the cover goes. Um, all you got to do is just grab a hold of these plugs and they just unplug from their counterparts that are inside the car. Uh, depending on what year your car is and if it's an automatic, it'll depend on how many plugs are in there. But basically, they're all the same as far as how they come out. Um, there's no need to cut it. You've now uh, freed up the body side of your ECU connector. The only thing left is to make sure that you get uh, your O2 sensors and your, if it's a 18T or a TDI, get the MAP sensor out of the intercooler and chase that wire all the way down to the front over there. Uh, don't cut anything over there, otherwise I've got to splice it back in and then I got to bill you for it. When you get done, you should have something like this. This is a TDI, so it, there's not a whole lot to it to start with, but you have a whole engine section from glow plugs all the way back. There's your uh, 14 pin connector glow plug um, splice and the small ECU connector. Here's your large ECU connector. There's your MAF sensor. Uh, we got an N75 valve there. MAP sensor. Plugs going inside the car. That's it for a TDI. Um, you can see I cut off this piece for the automatic transmission just because I knew what I was cutting. Um, it will still unplug and you can send me the whole thing. It doesn't matter. Um, but otherwise, there really isn't any need to be having a 30-pound box coming to me. This all will fit in a medium flat rate box, large flat rate box at worst with a VR6 or something like that. 